Welcome to the Keto Twins Test Kitchen. Today we have a highly requested noodle recipe to try. So we've made a variety of noodles here on our channel in the past couple years, ranging from ones like the complicated viral keto noodle by Keto Asian Flavors to the less complicated egg life wraps as noodles. Plot twist, we didn't like them. We've also tested a variety of pre-made keto noodle options and made mac and cheese from them. But today we're gonna to be testing a carnivore noodle replacement. So one of you guys left a comment on one of our last videos. Laura Jones, you are the winner of today's comment. Thank you for commenting. We do try to read all of your comments and reply as much as we can. And honestly, a lot of your comments, they come with great suggestions. And a lot of the time, Sarah and I are just stuck in an editing hole where we're on the couch just editing videos for 20 hours a week. So we don't get to see everything that YouTube has to offer in the keto sphere. So when you guys leave suggestions for recipes that we should try, we really appreciate it. So Laura says, you guys should try the keto pasta recipe recipe from Ketogenic Woman. It's cream cheese, pork rinds, and egg. You roll it out similar. They are so good. I don't like pork rinds, but you can't taste them when they're cooked. And that's what caught our eye because Sarah and I do use pork rinds in a variety of different applications. We typically use pork rinds in recipes for deep frying because we feel when you add spices and garlic to crush pork rinds and use them for deep frying, you really can't taste the pork rinds at all. And Sarah and I have actually tried adding pork rinds to chaffles before, also known as a poffle. And we actually tasted the pork rinds in there and we felt like it was kind of off-putting. So the fact that Laura says that you can't even taste it did pique our interest today. So this recipe is pretty simple. We've preheated our oven to 350 degrees. We have a sill mat on a baking sheet ready to go. We're going to be adding our cream cheese, parmesan, pork panko, and eggs to our Nutribullet. So in the comment section of this recipe, someone said that you should be adding some Italian seasoning to your pasta and that's why we're using it in this recipe. So we're going to polarize this in our Nutribullet for a while. But before we do, we're going to take a minute to talk about the sponsor of this video, Element. Element is a delicious electrolyte drink mix with everything that you need and nothing that you don't. That means lots of salt with no sugar. Element contains a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. Sarah and I drink Element every single day because we absolutely love the way it tastes and it helps us on our keto weight loss journey. That's because when you go into ketosis, you shed a lot of water and inside that water are your electrolytes. This can leave you feeling tired, nauseous, or having muscle cramps, also known as the keto flu. Element replenishes your electrolytes so that you feel better. We love all of the flavors of Elements, but our absolute favorites are the citrus salt, orange salt, and raspberry salt. Right now, Element is offering our community a free sample pack. It looks like this so that you can try all the flavors. That's eight single serving packets free with any order from Element. This way you can try all the flavors or share some with a salty friend. In order to get this deal, you must go to drinklmnt.com slash keto twins. Thanks so much to Element for sponsoring another video on our channel. Sponsors really do help keep our channel going, and thanks to you guys for supporting our Sponsors. Let us head now to the Nutribullet station because that's where the electrical outlet is. Maybe in our next Keto Twins test kitchen we can have outlets everywhere. For now, we must go this way. I'm just grinding forever so that this part never ends because I'm nervous to try this. <laughs> So we're going to pour this mixture into the center of the mat and per her instructions we're going to use gravity to kind of spread the mixture into a sheet and maybe use an offset spatula to try to get uh, the last part spread out. I don't really see that being a problem. It's pretty thin. So let's get pouring. She said it does rise a little bit. Mm. So um, it's pretty even though I would say. They say to make it as thin as possible. Make sure that you're not spreading it too thin so that you can see through it. I feel like this is some sort of game. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be needing to use this spatula. You want to keep it within the square. Right, that's the that's game. The game. <laughs> Those games are really stressful, yeah. honestly. Yeah, like operation, mm -hmm. can't play that. See, it's getting kind of thin on the all other right, side. So right. maybe like that's a good, good thinness for this. This is kind of reminding me of a gelatin pasta that we made before. Mm -hmm. It also uses the same kind of Italian seasoning. Maybe that's why I'm like getting a whiff of it and I'm reminded of that. And this is looking pretty promising so far. We're gonna stick this in the oven for eight to 10 minutes. It's been eight minutes, our timer has gone off. We're gonna check it now. It smells good, actually. Does it smell like fried chicken? Yeah, or it's the seasoning. Yeah, it's the Italian seasoning. Okay. Oh, yeah, the, the sides are browning. Does that mean it's done? I think it needs a little bit more in the middle, no? I think it's solid. Okay. It does not smell like pork rinds, which is a good thing, in my opinion. We have let this completely cool down. It's about 15 minutes later. I'm going to carefully peel this off of the sill mat, and I'm going to put it onto our cutting board, and then I'm going to start to trim away some of the browning on the edges. So it's like peeling away. It's like overcooked. It doesn't have like the elasticity anymore, so definitely cut off those edges. 
see you in 10 years. Is there a reason why you've decided to stray from the recipe, Emily? I just started and now I'm, I can't stop, so. Normally you're supposed to roll it into a log and then cut it, I guess it goes by faster. But Emily okay. has decided to do it the hard way. Manually. I am I am meticulous. Yeah, right. As most of you know. Kira is a cheater, by the what? way. She just came over here when the camera was off and said that she wanted to try a piece. And I'm I like, did. absolutely not. It was a burnt piece. It wasn't the actual. I don't care. Legitimate you pasta. have to have the actual, your real first time impression. None of this, like trying it beforehand because you're curious. Look at this art artistry. Mmm. Looks good. So we have some keto friendly marinara sauce heating up in a pan. We have placed our noodles inside of the hot marinara. We're just heating the noodles through. We've saved a couple of the noodles so that we can try them on their own. We're going to plate up our beautiful masterpiece. We're gonna top it with some Parmesan and some basil that we've been growing in our basement. And we're gonna go downstairs and we're gonna try it. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? I'm very impressed. It does have the feel of a kind of wider noodle. Like, what is that, a fettuccine yeah. or something? I'm not really up to date with my noodle categories. One thing that I did notice though is that when um, I was cutting it I accidentally stretched one and it stretched but so, as long as it's not overcooked right, right. if you overcook it it kind of turns papery and burnt and it will not have like that elasticity doesn't smell like anything no, we're trying it alone no. all right trying it alone I guess because Sarah's making me <laughs> not bad at all I'm glad we added the Italian herbs in there. I feel like it added a little bit extra to it. We used egg life wraps rolled up and cut up into like strips and it had a very spongy texture. This has eggs in it, but it doesn't have like that same springiness, which I'm really liking actually. Pleasantly surprised, I don't taste the pork rinds either. When we were putting it out of the tray, we actually realized that we kind of made something similar to this in the past that had gelatin in it. And the thing with that recipe was that when we heated it up in some sauce, it actually started melting again. Mm -hmm. I am noticing that when we reheated this in the pan, we we didn't see that melting like that other recipe. We always think that adding a little bit of greenery <laughs> to things just classes it up a little bit. That's a hack for you guys if you didn't know. Having parsley on hand, having basil, having like even oregano. Yeah. It's a hack, you know? You think something looks really bland. A little bit of greenery never hurt nobody. And um, we have it all growing here now. <laughs> We're trying to use it. Yeah. So I'm really glad that it kept its integrity and that you can heat it up. That's really cool. I am honestly shocked at how good it is. I was expecting to be able to taste that pork rind in there, but you really don't. No taste it at all. It's really, really good. And I saw that in her video for a different recipe. She actually used them as lasagna sheets. Mm. And I think that would be a great application for this as well as to create a lasagna out of these noodles. But this is pretty good as is. If you had the patience to cut them very thin, I think that they would hold up. So I didn't really have high hopes for this recipe. I know a lot of people like mentioned that they liked it, but you know, a lot of people like the egg life wrap as noodles. And I didn't like those, like the texture was off for me. I really liking this. And I think that this is probably my favorite noodle replacement that we've made, that we haven't purchased. We've made it. And I think that this could be used in a variety of different applications, like Sarah said lasagna. I think that you can store it in an airtight container in the refrigerator. And so, yeah, I think that she did mention to double the recipe or you'll be disappointed and now I'm thinking I should have doubled the recipe. But honestly, it only took like 20 minutes to make. So thanks so much to the channel and website, Ketogenic Woman, for creating this recipe. It's really, really good. We are going to be linking this recipe in the description below so that you guys can go there and find all the measurements. And we're so happy that people create these recipes so that we can try them and share them on our channel. If you guys are really in the mood for some pasta, you should click the video on the screen. We made a pasta ravioli with mushrooms. It was absolutely delicious and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are the Keto Twins signing out. Out. It's all gone. <laughs>